Baby, here's your daily reminder to drink some water, unclench your jaw, and find a reason to smile. I love you, and I'm proud of you. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope, Aries. So if you find any cards today that resonate with you in this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Aries, because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments, of course, right? Also, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Aries, I'd really be appreciative of it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, and I always am super appreciative of it. When you guys take that extra step to support my reading channel in that way. Also, remember to use your intuition as well, Aries, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my cards here today are just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought as you go throughout your week, Aries, but never making the decision in your life because it's just a weekly horoscope reading, right? So all that being said, let's just get into your reading now, Aries. I pulled some cards just to see where you guys are at. Seems like this is a heavy uh, mental health week for you guys, or more so, um, more so like your mentality, your emotions are more being addressed, your thought process behind things. Uh, because, well, let me show you these cards. I realized I just, we just realized I didn't. And if you hear any noise, honey, it's just my neighbor doing some construction. I apologize if it's distracting. And now Tulip is deciding to use the litter box. So <laughs> we just have all the distractions, honey. Uh, we have the seven of earth for you, Aries. We have the nine of air. Earth is pentacle energy. Air is sword energy. Then we have the six of air as well as the four of air so let's see how we even want to break these things down i do feel like it's a situation where <clears throat> we're going to put these like this there we go so we're going to talk about your nine of air first that voice cracked for a moment Aries. did you catch that uh this card says expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights now Aries, this is the energy that I feel like you're coming out of right now. I feel like there's been something that, especially remembering your last week's reading, there was something that was uh, almost being resolved in your head, or you're coming to terms, you're getting some closure with something that has been a long time just like haunting you in some way, where it just seems as if like just been uh, every single day, like there would be something that would just like remind you of a situation and then that would just trigger like... A mental spiral for you right you, your imagination would start getting wild on things right this could be with a person could be with this you know job situation financial stresses you know the usual right just the honey it can just be about living this life right now right everything feeling so up in the air but let's get some more detail on this card aries let's see if we can get any more specifics through tarot and seeing like what exactly was resolved for you or is in the process of you coming out of right or what it is that you're stressing about, rather. So we have the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups, as well as the Two of Wands in the reverse. Heavy, heavy, heavy energy in terms for my Aries, finding like the life purpose. We're trying to find um, a sense of direction on what to do next. Uh, definitely this is heavily speaking in terms of like uh, Aries that's like, oh, what am I doing with my life? Or like... Uh, it's almost just the sense, especially with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse Aries. Like, yeah, we could go the easy route where it's like a concern for finances. Um, but I feel like it's a little bit bigger of a picture than that, right? I feel like everyone on some level, there's like something that you think about with the finances that you could be stressing about. But with this Ace of Pentacles and Two of Wands, this is almost like a situation where Aries, I see where it's like you had like a giant like vision board for something and you really like thought this was going to be like your purpose, your calling, whatever, right? Maybe let's just use an example of like writing a book, right? You've been writing this book for a long time now and um, you started having like some thoughts of being like, oh, did I just like throw away like a bunch of time of my life, wasted a bunch of time and energy in my life into a book that wouldn't work out or something like that, right? Because I don't feel as if Aries, especially with all your air cards, because air deals with your mentality and just your heads, your overall headspace. Um, I don't feel like there was anything of actual like, I mean, maybe there were signs there that obviously triggered you to start overthinking on some level, Aries. But I don't feel as if, like, 
there was anything like directly of substance that you could like use as like a reference of being like, yeah, this is why I'm stressing about this. It kind of feels like, again, a situation of like, kind of like everything. Yeah. Being up in the air, being like, am I really living in my purpose? Right. Um, is this really going to be like, am I going to regret this at a later point? This is something I'm hearing a lot. It's just like, uh, some heavy regret energy being afraid of just like coming off as like, foolish on some level and with that two of wands that two of wands is a card of like big plans and just like thinking about the future and uh wanting to just like welcome in new things you know just almost like uh what is the word i want to use just like going into like into a new journey but you have like specific details in mind on like what you would be doing uh or what you would be bringing along in that journey right that is what you're having anxiety about then we get into the Seven of Earth, or the Seven of Pentacles. Now, funnily enough, um, this deck in specific, whenever I see the Seven of Pentacles, this is a card where I always say, it's like, oh, someone's overthinking things, right? Uh, let me read off the card, though, so you understand. This card says, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, and unnecessary worry. So this is probably what it was for you, Aries, that you were stressing about, where you're just like, oh man, am I doing the right thing? Because um, maybe your growth in whatever aspect hasn't been happening as quickly, right? Maybe you thought those seven pentacles, those seven seeds that you planted, Aries, uh, would have bore, uh, bared fruit by now, right? Uh, maybe you really like, you know, because I like to see the seven of earth seven of pentacles areas as like seven seeds that you yourself planted and so maybe you invested some emotional financial whatever into these seven seeds you know you kind of like put your whole being all your eggs in this basket and you're stressing about it because you wasn't getting the traction that you anticipated it initially getting or you know maybe your path started going off the script right and something i always like to tell people which i don't feel as if many anticipate hearing this kind of message when it comes to watching a tarot reading but you do have to have this sense of freedom areas of just releasing the expectation or the uh, almost requirement some of us will put on ourselves of uh, feeling like we have to be so in control of the future and uh, like being very hands on with everything and just being, you know, I feel almost as if uh, Aries, you have to just be reminded that life isn't predictable. And while I feel like obviously for some of you Aries, you'd be like, well, yeah, obviously Velka. But on some level, um, with whatever the situation is that you really just have to have, like, you know, those things where you just have a really good feeling about a project or something, Aries, and you're just like, oh man, whenever I do this, it's going to like, you have this big vision in mind of how it's going to turn out or like how the storyline is going to play out. And because that storyline isn't playing out in the way that maybe you had anticipated, uh, that's what stress, that was what was giving you some stress, some anxiety. I'm going to get some chapstick on, honey, my lips are dry <laughs> before I continue on. So, I pulled some cards for you, some clarifiers for the Seven of Earth. Uh, we have the Queen of Cups for you. So you have the King and now the Queen. The Six of Swords. The Strength card in the reverse. Ooh, I just dropped the card. And the King of Wands. So give me a moment, actually, uh, Aries, so I can take in this message. <sighs> Definitely with the Strength card coming in, in the reverse, this is something that you really had like a hardcore internal struggle with, Aries. This is something that's been like a long-standing battle. Like, again, I do feel like it's been like this long-standing battle. Maybe not in just this specific situation that's been lasting a long time, but maybe it's been like the same kind of theme, right? And maybe if it's about a person, uh, you're just so used to maybe, you know, because I call the strength my shadow work card. Maybe it's just like uh, there's been some type of thing that you needed to heal when it came to the relationships in your life. And so until you heal that part, you all your relationships, romantic, platonic, family, whatever, uh, is they kind of reflected this situation. And so it's been like a very rough battle for you that you probably even acknowledge where it's just like something that you needed to work on being like oh yeah um with the strength card being in the reverse it lets me know like how much of a struggle it actually is is probably whatever this anxiety is it's probably extremely crippling whenever you like start thinking about it or whenever a reminder happens during the day and your mind just starts going crazy about it i don't know why though right well obviously it's like it has to be pretty important for you to be stressing out about it especially 
uh, if you went all in on this situation, I do kind of get it, right? Queen of Cups, King of Wands. Now this is an interesting dynamic because it's like you already have the King of Cups from before um, in this deck, but with this Queen of Cups, this signifies, while the King of Cups talks about being in control of your own emotions and just like getting yourself mentally and emotionally right, that we talk about in that uh, Nine of Swords Aries. Now with the Queen of Cups, the uh, this one more so addresses the um, how you handle like the actual relationships in your life and just like everything you start seeing things with a softer view right you start uh for some of you areas maybe a situation where you start coming into the realization not everyone's out to get you or like the universe isn't out to get you you know maybe some of you guys are just so used to like having some type of obstacle always presenting itself to you right before things start turning out really good Right, you know, very much so it's just like, oh, good things never happen to me. I always see that in my videos where someone comments being like, oh, good things never happen to me, what have you. But I see you kind of coming out of this, we'll just call this like that cynical energy or where it's just like, you're opening up. I don't wanna even say cynical because I don't feel like you guys are being cynical, Aries. I feel like it's just, you feel more safe now to open up and you feel okay with uh, being more vulnerable. And now it feels like you're replacing those heavy anxious energies with a lot more positive, like lighter energies. And then we go into this King of Wands, this King of Fire. I don't know why I said King of Fire. <laughs> this Wands is fire energy, but yeah, King of Wands for you Aries. This is where you, because of this, and it reflects, if you haven't watched your last week's reading Aries, really do so, because this is like a continuous storyline, I feel. Uh, because with this King of Wands, now you're feeling extremely motivated to go forward. You're, you know, it's like whatever you was going on mentally and emotionally for you, uh, Aries, it really was t having a pretty big impact in terms of, I'm like looking for my notepad, <laughs> don't mind me. Um, it was really impacting you in a way that was really limiting you from doing like whatever it is that you wanted to put your passions and whatever into right because whatever that would anxiety being so crippling right and the six of swords honey i mean the six of swords is just you putting distance confirming what i was saying and suspecting um because of you putting distance between them and then uh now i guess since we talk about the six of swords honey let's get into the six of air for you right because that's the same exact thing right so it confirms to me of the message from before that i really don't see this as an energy of what you guys are getting into here is more so as like something you guys getting out of now moving on from because that is what the six of air represents right is moving on this card says things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip so yeah let's just pull some clarifiers with this because i feel like i already just talked about well i did just talk about it aries um i want to see where it is you guys are going though aries let's see if we can get any reference in terms of like it's like okay like you're understanding you're bored you're opening up to things you're seeing things more with a lighter note now but what does that mean like where are you where is i want to know where aries is going now where direction are you feeling honey so let's look into this we have the Chariot card, the Page of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Ooh, okay, honey, okay. So I'm gonna just preface ahead of time, I'm gonna speak in terms of an opportunity, um, but the Knight of Cups can refer to like an actual social situation and like someone offering the roses, especially with the Page of Swords. Um, but I'm gonna, for simplicity's sake, focus on opportunity. Uh, so, with the six of air you're going into this new uh fast really quick like that's the thing this cherry card uh i'm pretty sure it's fire energy if it's not and it should be for me personally i identify it as that because it's extremely fast forward movement and it's also the cherry is also i like to see it as like the uber service sent from divine where you are where divine sends it to you to help you along into your path your correct path though right because this spirit it doesn't make sense for spirit to help you along and have this fast forward movement if you're going down the wrong path whatever and especially especially with that king of wands from before aries you are just feel like there's just like this sense of freedom i may even title your video this way aries where it's just like just build words as being like freedom because it just is like it feels like now you're seeing the world as like your oyster because your inhibitions are just dropped right you're communicating you're connecting you're opening your even dare I say, Aries, like for those that have usually been a little bit more reserved, you're feeling a little bit more um, bold, 
to uh, reach out for different opportunities, to connect with people who could bring you different opportunities, right? Um, to open the doorway for you into some things. Maybe for some of you Aries, um, definitely, I just get the sense of, especially with the Page of Swords, you've kept your eye on something being like, ooh, this would be fun to uh, do, but you whatever was holding you back from before, never could do. Now, if this is all about the same situation with the person, Aries, this would definitely be about, I see you guys reconnecting in the sense of like then going into collaborative energies as well. Um, if this is like what, like you coming out of this old situation, because I don't feel like you get, because we're not getting a death card. Like, knock on wood, honey, we're not getting a death card for you. So I don't really see like closures to anything necessarily. I just see like the finality of sense. I just see like whatever happened, you just feel better about a situation. And once you feel better about the situation, it's like full steam ahead of growth with this person, if this person's included in some way. And so now we get into this four of air, four of swords energy for you, Aries. This card says time to take a rest or vacation. Allow more time before making a decision and meditation may provide the answer. So Aries with this, this is a situation of, you know what? I really like this the four of swords already is just like the epitome of like healing uh, coming to terms with things and just feeling extremely at peace so now i want to see a little bit more detail on this though of like what this means for for you aries what can we be excited for you in this way after you have this, like because maybe for some of you guys keep in mind like you guys haven't fully came into this healing process um full complete closure process but once you do let's see what happens right so we have the world card the ten of swords in the reverse the five of swords lots of swords i'm telling you queen of cups whoa this pile alone honey is just kind of like summarizes your reading right so the ten of swords when the sword when ten of swords is in the reverse i know you, there's no swords here honey. it's just the swords like ravens in this deck it represents are represents the swords technically um but when it's normal tarot with the swords when the swords are pointed up that means open communication so really referencing that page of swords from before i really do feel like communication is such a key component to this because again queen of cups comes in where you feel better about a situation you feel just a lot more loving and tender towards like people and things you just feel a lot lighter five of swords and this world card coming in this is the cycle you're closing off right the aries are finally done overthinking at least a situation maybe we can just be super optimistic and say it's like oh my aries are just done overthinking in general right but you whatever has been just like sitting in your head haunting you for a while just you couldn't get it out of world card comes in is just i see that cycle just being completed whatever it is you needed to heal honey Aries, you really did it. I want to celebrate you for that. Um, I'm not, <laughs> you know, with this spread right here, Aries, we didn't get any um, negative cards in the sense of like something to look out for or anything like that. So really a positive week. The only thing I can suggest to you, Aries, is just really push communication this week. Push communication because that seems to be the very um, pivotal Point or like the process, important process to get you to your healing space. Because I feel like once this happens, it's full, like, like all the breaks are gone for you, Aries. Like you're just going fast forward. So um, yeah, now I'm going to be getting into my Aries, those who are interested in hearing about their love and social situations, as well as their career. So we're going to start with my Aries love and social situations. Let's see right here what's going on now. We have the five of water or five of cups, two of water or cups, life experience card, and the five of air or swords. So Aries, in terms of your social life, uh, I'm going to kind of, I'm willing to put money on probably the majority of this reading in the general portion is associated with the social situation because this life experience card is the tower card in normal tarot, I'm pretty sure of where it's just notice the significant life event which is kind of just like things crumbling this old pattern this old thing a powerful revelation that leads to change right that which is what i was talking about and hinting out with that queen of cups and the all those air cards that we had before the time to spread your wings right this really just breaks down like your inhibitions are down you just feel free right 
Two of Cups were just this really good card confirming to me of um, you two coming together. Um, or I say, I guess it could be more than two people, but five of water five of air coming in here this is the situation of where it's almost like someone i don't know if it was you aries or someone else where it's just like maybe it was on a little bit on both sides aries um where something happened in a dynamic of a connection and it kind of ruined the dynamic of it for a while you couldn't see it the same way maybe they couldn't see it in the same way the connection in the same way I really do see you guys coming out of it though. Like, and I don't see this in a sense of like closing the door on their face and just being done washing your hands clean of it. I see you guys just coming, like, I don't know, just like really practicing forgiveness, honey, it seems. We're just moving on. So, I was really good reading for that. Definitely let me know what this is about, Aries. I'm being really nosy now. So, now let's see what's going on. Let's get a quick update for my Aries and their career financial situation what's in the works honey so eight of water nine of earth three of fire ah hmm. so interestingly this is a really good card to have for my uh areas who are self-employed uh, with this nine of earth and this three of fire, you're definitely going to be anticipating some more traction, a lot more traction in terms of your business. If you, this is more so for my self-employed that I'm speaking to, if you have been working at a, like a nine to five and you're like actively trying to go for a raise or a promotion of some sort, I do get some acknowledgement here, right? Um, but for the majority of you, I do feel like Aries, this is more so relating to my Aries who kind of left a situation like quit a job or took a chance on something or really like invested a lot into a situation and now they're about to see like the payouts of it um again similar to what i was saying with the seven of pentacles so it's funny how this all came back around together but aries that is the reading that i have for you i hope you enjoyed this terror hor horoscope for you if you did let me know in the comments be sure to give this video a like and subscribe also, I do the weekly tarot horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, Aries. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, I love you so much, Aries. Bye.